Wait, what's that? Me and Chair recording? I should be recording now. Okay, hello and welcome back to Random Game Prime Days. In today's episode, we're playing Terra Teleform. A lost tape kind of found, you know, kind of game. So, I do not know how well or how far we'll get. It'd probably be, you know, not too far as I'm not good with horror games. It's my worst trait, I tell you. I'm not good at with horror games. Like, I'm committed to do uh, Limbo and, uh, what do you call it? What's the other one? Oh, you can only change language. Limbo and Inside? But they're more 2D, not 3D. But we'll see how well we can do. I'll probably keep it to, uh, 5 to 10 minutes long, seeing how far we can. Okay, this is the right building. So, 26, uh... No, 27. Yeah, 27. You know what? 30. Yeah, we'll do 30. Not 30 minutes, but you know, I'm looking at the time now. <laughs> okay, this is the right building. Hey, you got that camera on? On oh, now? I saw I had it on. Weird. Well, it's recording now. Right. It's best to have as much material as possible. We want the sixth floor. Can you get the button? Ah, uh, it reminds me of one of these old ones, I tell you. Ah, oh, I wonder if What is it? You look like you have something to say. I was just thinking about what happened. What happened? It was bizarre. You didn't see it, did you? They just told me how it happened. What he used to... You know, you're lucky. I wish I hadn't seen it. It looks like it'd be like, you know, someone's mixtape, you know, their uh, Spotify, you know, song. <laughs> the picture down there. You heard it, right? He gave Cell so a VHS tape. The VT operator? Right. Cell so was support supposed to broadcast the tape, but he couldn't. Technical issues. And bam, it happened. Oh, we're here. Come on. Was there like a shadow at that door there for a second that went away? Maybe it was just my imagination. Okay. We're going to apartment 608. Easy to remember. Head towards the uh, trash bags. 608. I think it's... Uh, the part that department right ahead, the lights on. Here we are. Well, let's get ready, shall we? You can film her get in the door and all that, so should I knock on the door, ring the bell? What'll look better on TV? Wonder if she's up to talking to strangers right now. Hope the camera doesn't act up during an interview. What do you mean? It malfunctions sometimes, it blacks out for no reason. I think they gave me this one because I'm new. Let's do the story. Now Ferreria won't be able to deny you some new equipment. Let me try it again. Say, did you work with Walter for long? Some four years. Um, this hit me hard too, yeah, you know. I want to do something for him and take advantage of the situation in the process, sure. You'd say I'm demonstrating a sharp sense of opportunity. Alright, third time's the charm. Oh, it's like always like the third knock, you know, for like demons and all that. What do you want? Hi, Miss Martins. We're from Channel 8. We came to give you our condolences. You really need a video camera for that? We're making a special program about Walter. A homage, a kind of retrospective. You see, he worked at the station for so long, so we wanted to talk to him, talk to you about him, about what happened. Right. Fine. Come on in. Might be good to talk about it.
Can't believe she brought that up. Maybe she'll need. Maybe she needs this now. Come on, before she changes her mind. Thank you for welcoming us, Miss Martins. A close house wouldn't be good for someone. Thank you again for welcoming us, Miss Martin. Hmm. Silver here will film our conversation, okay? Will he now? I have to think about that. What? Would you like to drink anything? Tea? Coffee? Oh, I never refuse a cup of coffee. I'll go make some. Like, she doesn't seem like a bad, you know, person. What's that at the bottom of the screen over there? Is it like a dog or a body or something? She pulled the fast one on you, huh? Look at that, let's snoop around while we have the chance. Make sure to get everything that catches your eye. Oh, there's a dog. Good one. We need a nice shot of gunpowder. Walter even care carried that the dog's picture in his wallet. He showed it around as if it was his own son. Be sh oh, it would be a shame if we only had shots of them as a wall. So look around. Look at these certifications. Turn it. Duh, duh, duh. What a waste. Plant is begging for water. Remember Walter bought this raincoat to cover Yeah, I remember he got cheated out of some five hundred considered uh, for oversized coat. Looked ridiculous in it, but he paid so much for the thing. He had just to wear it. Poor guy. Uh, can you hear? We're putting water in the filter. She'll be back soon. Check out all you can. There's a painting here, like. I think Mr. Martin's painted this. Yeah, that TV shot looks good. Something funny about this TV. I think there was a lightning strike nearby the other day. Might have messed it up, actually. Pretty sure it happened the same day that Walter, you know. She's still in there? Yeah. Okay. Keep the camera on. Look around some more. Okay, daily trophy. Alright, Walter got one for an article he wrote back in the 70s. The station's owner thought this would make us stand out more, but it didn't happen. Localizations have zero chances against the big ones. I think they even had a lobby going on to hush this up. Look at this photo. Some scenery. A very appealing scenery, plus it's out of focus. The photo has a story behind it, I can feel it. Might ask her about it during an interview. Coffee's almost done. Will you have one? No, I'm fine. Feel free to have one if you change your mind. So, refuse some liquid anxiety. Caffeine yellows your teeth. <laughs> There's more refuse in it, you know, in case something's in it. That's why, you know, cops don't, you know, take tea from people. It's because of that. Juliana, so did you think it over? I did. Let's get this done with. Great. We'll begin shortly. Let's shoot the interview on that chair, Silva. Ready? No, but it doesn't matter. Okay, let's go in three, two, one. We're here with Miss Andrea Martins, wife of Walter Martins, our dear colleague who left us so abruptly. She agreed to give us a interview during most these most trying of times. As itself really tells a story about how you two lived. Cert certificate, certificates and degrees. 
You two are quite well educated, aren't you? You can say so. I studied quite a bit of history, theatre... Theatre? Met Walter at a Equilson's workshop. I used to help him out. Can you believe he had a speech impediment? Bad dictation. Nobody notices it today. His articulated, articulated speech. That was my gift. The ward in the living room. The blurred photo, Walter's raincoat. Many of Walter's things are still around here. Yes, I've been thinking about selling in the apartment because of everything. These things just make it all more difficult. I'm thinking of getting rid of everything. The blurred photo on the shelf. You have a rather particular, peculiar picture in your living room. Ah, that was the first picture I took with the two of us. I put the camera on a tripod and set it all up to take our picture. And then, well, this lap wing showed up out of nowhere. I think we were too close to its nest. Bird got furious and attacked the camera when it took the picture and then it attacked us. It was result of result a portrait neither of us appear in from yours truly, the great photographer. He found it so funny we had it framed. I used to find it funny too. The ward in the living room. Walter was a very high caliber professional working were working at the small a small station. Would you like to comment on that? He felt he had less problems with higher ups when working at a small station. He could suggest topics, be more hands on. He has believed in keeping local stations alive. We lived well. He wasn't a ambitious man. Not in that sense. He was a good man. Look, I'm sorry. I don't think I could keep going. Of course, Miss Martins. We got enough material already. He was so difficult, well, different, so nervous. I never expected him to. No one expected that, Miss Martins. I still can't even imagine Walter handling a gun. Gun? What gun? Walter never had a gun. The, the gun, the one he used during the show's broadcast. He did not use a gun. I know it's horrible, but I saw it when he pulled the trigger. That's what Ferrari told you back at the station, right? Now I was told he hanged himself. What? How can that be? My god. I knew it. Ever since he got that damn tape. The tape he tried to broadcast? He also examined the tape back at the studio. I think the film was burned or something like that. That wasn't the tape, not the original one. That was a copy. Seriously? Do you still have the original one? Yes, here. Don't know what he was saw in this thing. I don't know where he got it from. Walter made me swear to never watch it. He only watched it when I wasn't home. Or in small hours of the morning. You want it? You want to watch it, don't you? For your show? I don't think that's a good idea, but I'm too tired to try to change your mind. I am going outside to have a smoke. I don't even want to hear the thing. This is it. We have quite the story here. I'm sorry, she's missed. You look like you've seen a ghost. You stay right. You crazy? Are you crazy? I'm out. Whoa, whoa. It's all right there. I'm not letting you throw this opportunity away. Look, you don't have to, to watch it. Just film me as I'm watching it. We'll have more takes that way. We can insert the tape's contents in the video during editing. That's it. A commendable effort. Right, let's make some room here. All right, let's begin. Let's get my first impressions on film. We can fix it all on editing later. There, I'll press play. 
It's Stanton. What is this place? I don't recognize this building. These symbols. I can almost... Do they mean anything to you? Looking at them makes my head hurt. Yeah, it's the eyes. Oh, it's changed. Good. So did he go inside the building? What is this place? Looks like a prison. Prison? Inside the cells? Are those... Are those people? He's just walking by, I think. What sort of building is this? It's way too long. Look, there's someone up ahead. That guy. He looks... He looks... Something like trying. I almost got something like that. I'll turn up the volume. Mentioned someone named Oscar. We're assuming control. Of Zika. Seems like it's a mixture of multiple different things, but it's allowing you to pick someone named Oscar. I don't. I can't hear anything about Oscar. Can't understand a thing. Let me turn up the volume one more time. Something's up with something. That's it, I'm turning off this thing. Something happened. Community TV, we'll be right back after this message. Commercial break. Sign out, programmer, zero report. Okay, we're in the right building. Is the camera on? I remove the lens cover. Okay, hurry up. You look like you've seen a ghost. Look, you look different today. I changed my makeup. No, we need to click the button to go down. Let's get the uh, room. Head towards the window. Continue towards the window. What? What are you doing? How about you stop wasting our time? Thought we could shoot some footage here for the video. Ah, okay. We'll shoot it right. Come on, let's go. There's the apartment. Finally. But then the light is on the left, so why is the light outside? I'll do the talking. Four. Good evening. We're from Channel 8. We came to talk to you about what happened. 
if you don't mind if we record this. Alright. We want to... you want to talk about Walter, right? The recent events that everything stuck in your throat, isn't it? Come in. Might be good to speak to someone. There's something off here. Yeah, there is. That's what we'll find. Come on, get in. We're about to begin. Thumbs off. Lies just beyond the edge of your conscience. Tough luck. Ah, she refused it now. I'll have a look around. Yeah, whatever. Gunpowder. He seems nervous, or is he afraid? Walter wasn't a complete idiot. So many books, hmm. One's missing. Pretty sure this, there were a pair of boots here when we came in. Hey, there's a weird... Look. Go there and take it off. What? You heard me? You can reach up there. I won't do that. Do you always talk back like that? Just lay it free. Well, come on. We'll put it back. I'm not messing up the poor woman's home. Fine. What kind of plant is this? No idea, man. It's well taken care of. I think Miss Maytons. Martin didn't let the tragedy affect her routine. It is what keeps her functioning right now. There. We'll get to the point. Walter took a tape to the studio, but wasn't original. It's original here, will you? How do you know that? We examined the one he had with him. I want to see the original. Well, yes, I have it here. Do you know where he found it, this tape? Is this why you came? Had, had I known, would I have opened the door? Yeah. Take it. I don't want to see this thing. I'll have have to go smoke outside. Tell me when you're done. Let her be. But you won't, will you? Hey, she's a widow. What's gotten into you? I don't have time for this, but fine. You're right. The whole thing is making me antsy. You know? What? Why don't you go check up on a Even better interviewer. You always wanted to do that, right? Here's your chance. See if she's up to answering some questions about the origin of the tape. Ah, oh, there she is. Deep breaths. What's the smell? It's not the cigarette. No focus. If I do... I can help Miss Martins feel a little bit better. It's what I want to believe, at least. Miss Martins? What is it? Are you done? Not yet. Julia's watching the tape. Meanwhile, I wanted to ask you some questions. For your program? Shouldn't the girl be asking the questions? Actually... Yes. Actually, I got worried about you, ma'am. I see many people like that girl in this line of work. Because of Walter. People who stop at nothing, eh? Fine. Let's do this interview of yours. You better think very carefully about these questions of yours. My head's about to burst. How was Walter on that day? Normal, just like any other day. Spent so much time watching that thing, but his behaviour was the same. He was uneasy, but I never thought it would come down to this. I'm not sure you've seen it, but he left a note I only noticed minutes after he, it had already happened. The only strange thing that day was that he made a copy of the tape. Why did he make a copy? Why do you copy? 
deserve to share. That's what I think, at least. To share. Just thinking about that. Alone in my living room, watching that thing. Makes my skin crawl. See? Why is she so interested in that tape? To tell the truth. I wouldn't know. No? Isn't that why you came here? I mean, isn't that what the story is about? I don't remember. Don't you think that colleague of yours is acting a little strange? I could have swear I've seen her before. To be honest, I have a feeling I've seen you before as well. Maybe I've seen her at the studio. I'm not sure. I don't think so. I haven't been working there for long. Hmm. Maybe that's why you don't seem to be like her. Not yet, anyway. Me? Yes. Why are you in this, anyway? Well, this is my job. I don't get to pick my tennis. Well, this is my job. I don't get to pick my tennis. So you choose to omit yourself, right? No. Shouldn't blame you. You're not at fault, re not really. You know, I get it. I get the idea of moving up the ladder. The lure of sensational piece of news. You can see it too, can't you? Nothing good came from this tape. From this whole thing. That's precisely why we need to investigate it. Really didn't cause anything positive until now. That's precisely why we needed to investigate. Do we really need to? Is it really the search for truth that motivates motivating this story you're working on? Or is it something else? And if it is something else, then it would not be right. I'm not sure right is the concept we're looking for. What I do know is that you two being here is making me apprehensive. I don't want to ignore this feeling. I, to be honest, have been questioning how things have been progressing. Well, I don't want the story to be broadcast. I'm telling you quite plainly. Drop the camera. You serious? You can tell the them, the crazy old lady, clawed at you. I don't care. Here, a little push out the window. Throw the camera. R W. Rewind. Got something at the end of Act 2. I really hope it doesn't continue. <sighs> That's as Austin, I tell you, trying to pick the right answer. Well, there's Walter, I think. Need to reach the apartment. The apartment? Which apartment? 608. Yes, that was it. The apartment number stays in your mind. That's something else with me. Ju Ju Juliana. That's right. The. <laughs> that tape. What I saw in it. Watch the unrecorded nightmare. A scene of forgetting the name of what I saw. I watched the unrecorded nightmare. A scene of forgetting the name of what I saw. I saw the past of a future that never happened. A scene of forgetting the name of what I saw. Many things have I already forgotten. How many fake memories have I recalled? The apartment. She stayed there. Reach. Floor. It's not the sixth floor anymore. Better record. Everything can be used. Need to go on. Uh, I don't need. I don't know. I need to pay attention. Yes, this way. 
weird smell here. Where did I smell this before? Is this the carpet? The car coming from inside, the pipe. Oh, I know what it is. Smell it's so long. It's making me nauseous. Go back. Is it? Now I got a weird feeling here. Go back. Same door I came across earlier, like, isn't it? No, I got a feel weird feeling here. Keep going. Gunpowder? What happened here? Why the dog here? Where's your honor? Loyal boy, where is he now? Hey, Gunpowder, where's your honor? I'm imagining things. Or is the dog avoiding the apartment? Oh no, not now. Come on. Ah. Gunpowder. Back here. What's got an him? He just dashed down the hall. Huh? Looks like he was lying on top of the note. Inspect the note. It's a note. I had it. And did what I shouldn't. Now all I see is edited in my memory. I'm surrounded by forms, figures that mean nothing to me. Any more than that terrorizes me. Like the face of memories. If anyone reads this, don't leave Gunpowder alone. She. She also. Ah, uh, these letters are giving me vertigo. Wait, the dog. Where did he go? Gunpowder? I'm going inside. No. I want to leave this place. Enough. The story. It was all wrong since the start. Stairs seem safe. The stairs, I found the stairs. Rewind. It's like he's stuck in the tape as well. Gunpowder? I'm going inside. No, I want to leave this place. Enough. The story. Elevator would be faster. Just go already. Rewind number four. I like how it's actual food so that the person had to go out and recover. <laughs> Compadre, I'm... I'm going, I need to. Really? Really? I will? Hey, I just noticed it now. It is awful. Keep it to yourself now. Forget it. I'm only doing this to gather as much food. I should have said it out loud. We reached the apartment. There's a dog. was the wrong decision. It's not anymore watched. Rewind. Carcel spectadores, boa noite. Seems viewers, good night. Today we'll have a special broadcast in an hour. Probably my last one. I have an announcement to you all. We were in the last few weeks I may discover that was, that has haunted me. Words are not enough to describe what I uncovered. So, I'll just have to show you. As it has haunted me. However, my profession, I worked through it all these years has been to reveal the truth. If we want to be free, I need you all to know 
Acho que todos não adoro ter dúvidas. Ah, só eu não que o Rector Tunan é importante. Mas fiquem com a porta. Eu acho que o Rector é importante para o Sérgio. Eu acho que é muito importante. I like how. Oh, I missed like two bits. That's really all. We got that end. You know what? We did quite well. I don't really care about, you know, doing the last two bits. So, hopefully, you did enjoy this. Have a nice day, safe. Hope to stop on me. Some more shifts and get the very smooth, very important. And bye bye. See you next time. Have a nice day, safe. Bye bye.